Welcome back into your Alaska. Joe Cook here once again with your local Thursday sports cast. This weekend's Ice Dog Series is the last home series of 2015 for the local junior hockey team. Fairbanks will look to right the ship after suffering their first pair of losses at home against the Janesville Jets last week. The Cooley Region Chill come to town this weekend for a Midwest Division Series. The Chill come in with a 7-10 record. They're led by goalie Hunter Vorva, whose 93% saving percentage is second in the league. Former Ice Dog Caleb Scheuer is also on the Chill team. The Ice Dogs are 16-4-1, and this series will be critical to help them keep their top-ranked NAHL record intact. After this, the Ice Dogs will be on the road for an 11-game road trip. They won't return to the Dipper until January 15, 2016 against the Springfield Junior Blues. Game 1 of the Chill Series is at 7.30 Friday night at the Dipper. This weekend, the Alaska men's basketball team will be in Anchorage for the AT&T Jamboree. The Nanooks are fresh off their GNAC PacWest crossover tournament title. They'll come into the Jamboree with a 2-0 record. On Friday, UAF faces California State Dominguez Hills and wrap up the tourney with a Life Pacific College on Saturday afternoon. Alaska has a lot of momentum going into the tournament. They put the ball in the hole, scoring 208 points in their first two games. This weekend, head coach McDurham wants to see how well his team can play defense for back-to-back -back games. Our defense needs to progress. Um, we want to, you know, have teams shoot under, you know, right around the low 40s if we can. Uh, we're still trying to figure out, you know, where we need to be. But, uh, but no, we have to play good defense. We're playing a, a penetrating team Friday night, so that'll be critical that we, we come together defensively. I came just coming to work because we know how each person is playing. We know how to play with each other, and we're learning our roles. And uh, you know, it's flowing. So each game, it feels like, in each practice, it feels like we're just becoming a better team. And the UAF women's basketball team is in Hawaii this week, which you could trade places with them, right? The Nooks rallied from a 10-point deficit in the fourth quarter to tie BYU-Hawaii with three minutes left, but the Seasiders held off the Nanox to win 71-76. Jishan Q had a game-high 25 points in 19 minutes for the Seasiders. Autumn Childress led the charge for Alaska with a team-high 14 points. Kaylee Jold had a double-double with 11 points. 11 points and 10 boards. UAF will take on Chaminade tonight. And today at the Big Derby, the West Valley Wolfpack hockey team had their first home game of the season. The 4-0 Wolfpack went up against the visiting South Anchorage Wolverines. West Valley beat South 7-0 in the season opener. We picked this up in the second period with Daniel Ramsey and Connor Oragles for South. They broke a 1-1 tie with those tallies. But Yanni Saramanolis, he scored on a power play to bring West Valley within one going into the third period, 2-3 game in favor of South. The Wolverines, they went back up two with Peyton McSherry's goal. In the physical third period, Gabe Rankin and Stasi Skorowski link up for the second time. This goal made it a 3-4 game. Rankin scored twice for the pack. All of West Valley scores were on the power play, and they had a two-man advantage in the final minute after a South penalty. West Valley shots never went in. South gets payback and hands West Valley their first loss in a 4-3 final. Yeah, for sure. We didn't want to lose again to them. I mean, getting the roadie to Fairbanks was fun, so we thought we'd just leave it all out there today. In practice, we've been working on our PK a lot, so we are kind of confident about it, but it's a little scary. It always is. Yeah, I don't think we had that uh, urgency till it was the end of the game, and I wish we would have had that throughout the game. It was, you know, it took the last five, six minutes to realize, oh, we're going to lose this game if we don't do something. So I think we need to play a little heavier and get, get to the net and, uh, and play big, bigger than we are. And lastly, a local fighter made his case to maybe one day compete in the UFC. Check out this video from Cody Wareham's Facebook page. She captured Colin Reuter of Fairbanks submitting Chris Bennett at AFC 118 on Wednesday night. Reuter retains his welterweight title with the win. This almost didn't happen because Reuter had car trouble while driving down to Anchorage on Tuesday. And unfortunately, interior fighters couldn't get the sweep as Jarrell Askew lost a 25-minute battle in the main event to Nick Novelli. Congrats to Reuter. We'll wait to hear if he gets picked up by the USC after his win at AFC 118. Speaking of fighting, this Saturday night, Salah is a rock fighting championships. 10 will be at the Carlson Center. Doors open at 6 and fights start at 7.30. Julian Hurricane Harris will take on Anthony Diablo Pacho in the main event. And that's a wrap for sports tonight. Thanks for watching. Mike Schultz is next with your full weather forecast, and we'll catch you next time.